So I'm going to snip the top of my trachea. Now I still have my larynx in there, and I can tell because I can see the little bit of muscle that's on top of there. It kind of looks like a little ninja mask. And now the question I'm asking myself is where does the esophagus go? So I'm very gently kind of tugging, tugging, tugging. Let me move him the other way here. Or her, I guess, as the case may be. And so now I'm saying, where's my esophagus? Where's my esophagus? And there's all this connective tissue down there, and I'm just kind of like moving my thumb against it. Oh, you can hear it. Yeah. So now I've got my trachea. I've got the lobes of my liver. I have my heart. I removed my pericardial sac. I've got my little thymus gland underneath. And now I can say, okay, where's my esophagus? Look how long that puppy is. Now I'm going to kind of put my fingers down like this so I can keep track of it. And on the other side, I see I have all these major blood vessels. And I know this cannot be, all this stuff cannot be esophagus because I'm trapping the esophagus under this finger. So, so that means, no, I'm not, I'm just cutting my blood vessels. Mm -hmm. If you cut your blood vessels, you would pretty much die. Yes. So now oh, I can remove, I can remove my respiratory system and part of my... My circulatory system, obviously I didn't remove the mouth, so I don't have the whole respiratory system, but I've got a good piece there. All right, thank you, surgeon. And now I can see how deep that esophagus really goes. We always forget that the esophagus is so long, but the esophagus was actually connected. Do you see right here, there's that ridge right in here in between? Mm -hmm. So the esophagus was literally tucked right inside of there the entire time. So your esophagus is always right behind your Got your it. lungs and your heart. Are so that's where you swallow. Look, the mouth is actually really hard to open. Okay, go ahead and stop. Finger up. Just 